Come on, family. It is Sick Chick Vlogs. Um, I just came on here to talk right quick because I wasn't going to vlog today. And I'm walking to my mailbox to check my mail. And I got to run some errands and everything like that. But um, I wanted to come and talk to y'all about something <clears throat> that I'm not going to say it disturbed me. But, I, you know, me being... Let me, well, let me start from the beginning. Um, I was on my Facebook page and I saw this posting about this this young lady she's 29 years old same age as me and um what the uh news posting was about was well let me tell you what the heading was the heading was uh 29 year old wife chooses to end her life two days after her husband's birthday so of course i'm thinking you know maybe there's someone who has committed suicide excuse me and she decides to do it two days after her husband's birthday but that's not what it was about it was about okay the young lady she has terminal uh brain cancer and uh that basically the doctors told her that if she decides to live out her the rest of her life with the brain tumor they told her she has like six months to live but they did tell her that it would be a very painful six months they told her that you know she'll have uh, headaches every single day she'll have uh excruciating pain vomiting um all this type of stuff basically told this young lady that the rest of her life will be miserable okay on this earth completely and utterly and when this young miserable. lady found out that she was terminally ill at the time i forgot exactly where she lived but she decided to move to portland Oregon and in Portland, Oregon, they have this thing called dying with dignity. Okay, and let me explain to you what dying with dignity is. Basically, what dying with dignity is is um once you have a terminal illness in the state of Oregon, it, it just got passed in the state of uh, Washington um within the last couple of years, but in the state of Oregon. Um, they have it to where if you have a terminal illness, your doctor can prescribe you this drug called scrotal or something like that that will actually um, basically uh, help you kill yourself. Um, you, it's like a, it's a bunch of pills. You empty out the pills, you mix it with water or whatever you want to mix it with or some kind of juice or whatever, and you take it and um, you basically go into an induced coma where you die basically so they call they call it in Oregon dying with dignity and you know basically uh, some people are calling it assisted um, suicide the fact that you know your doctor would actually prescribe you something basically to end your life and basically what it is is you know they don't tell you okay you got you got to get this stuff and you got to kill yourself tomorrow you got to use it tomorrow to end your life they don't tell you that they tell you basically you'll know when you want to use it and it's up to you if you want to use it or not is not um something to the point where they tell you okay if we give it to you you have to use it tomorrow you know that's not how it works i'm gonna talk to y'all about this a little bit more in a second let me get on my way because it looks like it's about to rain you know what I'm so basically long story short this young lady decided that she doesn't want to suffer um for the next six months you know with excruciating head excruciating headaches and you know uh vomiting and losing her bowels and all this stuff she didn't want to go through that so she decided that she was going to um take the drug on november 1st which is in a couple of weeks you know she decided that she's going to take this drug to go ahead and end her life at home um surrounded by her friends and her family and um when i read that I decided to, you know, I was reading through the comments of the articles, you know, on Facebook, people be on Facebook, you know, writing all kind of negative shit up under the, the stuff. And I was just reading it and somebody was like, you know, um, a lot of people were saying, so basically the doctors are helping these people commit suicide. And um, somebody was like, you know what, I would suggest everybody go and watch um, How to Die in Oregon um, on Netflix. And um, so I decided to go and check it out now. I shouldn't have went and watched that because of the type of person that I am. I'm a very um, emotional person. And I wouldn't advise anybody who's extra emotional or anything like that to go and watch the movie because it's very, very sad. Um, because it's basically people on there that have terminal illnesses. And um, they basically don't want to die, uh, you know, uh, live out the rest of their lives with this horrible, horrible pain and stuff. 
so they decide to go ahead and take this drug to basically end their lives and um i was watching this young this lady on there her name was cody she has a um liver she has liver cancer and um you know she was losing her bowels and all this type of stuff and she ended up having uh surgery to you know they said they can possibly have this she could possibly have the surgery and it's a possibility that you know the cancer will leave and it won't come back she had the surgery and she did well for like six months and then the cancer came back and they told her when it come back it's going to come back with the vengeance and it came back and uh she said you know what i can't do this no more because they told her you know we can do this again and we can take out more fluid and you know basically you can may, maybe live a couple of more months you know live through christmas thanksgiving to where you can see the rest of your family she was she basically told him i can't do it anymore you know she she had went through so much and she said um you told me that i don't know when it's time for me to go and she said i think that time has come so she decided um that she was going to end her life and she wanted to end her life with surrounded by her by her husband her two children and her um parents and i basically want to ask you guys because this is kind of a, a different kind of video i mean it kind of fucking with my spirit how do you guys feel about that um i know that my dad had um you know my dad dealt with a lot of health issues and things like that and he used to always say to us you know i'm doing this for y'all you know i don't I don't like continuously getting cut on. I don't like to um, continuously have to go to into the hospital and take all these. I mean, my dad had um, a freaking cabinet full of like medication. He had diabetes. He had high blood pressure. He had an array of illnesses. He was a w ampu double amputee. He was in the military and he lost his legs. I mean, my dad has been through so much. He used to always say, I'm doing this for you guys. And, you know, I know it's kind of selfish of us to want someone to stay here on earth in in this realm um for us because you know it's you know we we're gonna miss them you know what i'm saying we don't want them to just be like you know i'm, I'm ready to go but at some point in time we have to say to ourselves is that fair to that person to um you know basically be here on earth um suffering basically living in misery just so we can be happy you know what i mean so basically what i want to ask you guys is, what do you feel about that what do you feel about the dying with dignity um act where in the state of oregon and now in the state of washington where you can actually um if you have a terminal illness the doctor you can ask the doctor to prescribe you a drug basically to um kill yourself you know that's basically what it is they're called like i said a lot of people are calling it assisted suicide or do you think that the person should just live out the rest of their days and you know um just deal with the pain or do you think you know they should just you know if they don't want to live in pain and suffering and all that stuff that they can just go ahead and take this drug and just die around their friends and family in peace without having to go through that suffering i just want to ask you guys what do you guys feel about that like i said i, I know i shouldn't watch that shit because it really fuck with my spirit and now i'm just around here like you know, when I stopped watching it, I had to get out of the house. I was like, this shit, you know, it was kind of depressing to be brutally honest with you. But I can only imagine if that was my loved one and they told him, you know what, well, you ain't got but six months to live and the rest of your, these next six months are going to be brutally going to be hell for you. You're going to um, lose your bowels. You're going to uh, lose your ability to walk. You're going to have excruciating headaches. Your stomach going to be hurting. You're not going to be able to hold down food, you know, or they can tell you, or you could take this, you know, before you get to that point, you can take this medication and um, basically just go into a deep sleep and go on about your business. What do you guys feel about that? I, I'm not, like I said, after watching this, I don't know how I feel about it at this particular point in time, but I know that I wouldn't want my loved one to suffer. You know what I mean? I wouldn't necessarily want them to suffer, but right now they only have that law um that option in oregon and washington where you can actually ask the ask the doctor if you have a terminal terminal illness you can't just go to them you know if you depressed and want to kill yourself and you don't want to you know have you know kill yourself uh uh violently and you just go to the doctor you know i want this stuff and i want to kill myself no you have to actually have an ailment a terminal illness to where you actually have a number of months that you are you know um, that a doctor has told you that you have left on this earth. Granted, I know a lot of people say, you know, um, you know, of course, 
God always had a last say so. I I, 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 do, I honestly and truly believe that. God has the last say so. I know of people who have uh, been told that they had two months to live, two weeks to live, and live for another 20 years. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one of those people who just listen to what the fuck the doctor tells you. No. But if you are going through um, severe pain and anguish and basically you, you're, you're just being tortured every day that you're here on this earth i don't know how i feel about that i mean i, I can see why a person would want to go ahead and end that and instead of going through that type of suffering and they will want to die in peace and you know all that stuff but i basically want to know if you guys think it's actually suicide let me know in the comment section below i'll see y'all family